everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have for you today a Tesco food haul. As I've said in the past, I'm hoping that we stumble across a shopping slot whenever we can, just so that we don't have to put my son at risk um, and put our household at risk with him. Um, so yeah, we managed to get one this week. So I've just popped on here what we managed to buy. Hope you're all doing okay and managing to stay safe and well. I will see you all soon. So I'll just start down in this bottom corner. We've got one of the mango, coconut and lime chicken mini fillets. We're getting bits and pieces for the barbecue as and when. We just feel like while we're all home and while the weather's okay, it's quite nice just to fit in lots of barbecues really. So I've got one of those. They were three pounds. These were on offer. I can't remember exactly how much. They're sweet barbecue pulled pork. And I just thought that would be really nice to have in a flatbread or in a bun with some coleslaw and some corn on the cobs and some salad on the side. And it's just something different and I think the kids will probably like those because it's quite a sweet meat. Then I've got a pack of burgers just in case we do the barbecue again. A pack of 5% steak mints and then 12 pork sausages. I've got a gammon joint as well because the kids just love gammon. We either have it as part of a roast dinner or we can have it with egg and chips and peas. Just depends whatever they fancy. I'm just going to come down here and do all the meat bit first. These are really, really yummy. I don't know if you've tried them, but they're six smoked back bacon rashers. You only get six in there, but they are really, really yummy. Really thick slices, so you only need a couple in a sandwich. A pack of six isn't much for a family of four, but we find it is enough really because of the fact that they're so thick. And then I've got some wafer thin cooked ham and some of the Tesco finest ham. That was on offer. I didn't mean to get both. I think I forgot to remove our normal one when I saw this one on offer, but it doesn't matter. I'll freeze one of them. And then a pork and garlic Brussels pate. We just like pate sandwiches or pate on toast occasionally. Sorry if you can see this mist on all the stuff. I've just sprayed everything over with Dettol and leave it to dry off before it goes away. A pack of the chicken fridge raiders and a packet of the bird's eye chicken jar grills, which we get most weeks. That's everything for the meat. So it was quite meat heavy this week. We hadn't bought much meat for a few weeks, so that's why. A margarita, as I've said before, we just like to have one in the fridge at the moment so we've got the option to have it for lunch with some salad a big pack of fries we don't tend to have fries that often but obviously when we're all home all day every day sometimes we do a hot lunch sometimes we do a little treat meal like we did a pretend mcdonald's the other day for the kids we're just trying to make our life easier and we're trying to give the kids a nice experience while they're at home and if that means that we're having like, I don't know, three treat meals in a week instead of one, and so be it, it's fine. As long as the kids are happy and fed and getting lots of fruit and vegetables and are safe and well, that's as much as I worry about at the moment. So that's why we are a bit more treat heavy than normal. Pack of the sliced brioche buns. We had those for our barbecue the other week and they were actually really yummy and they've got a longer date on them and there's eight of them. So they do for lunches for the next day or two as well. A pack of wraps. I made some quesadillas for the kids in the week. In fact, for all of us for lunch in the week. We actually just kept it really simple and we just had it with mozzarella, cheddar, tomato, and they were really yummy. The kids absolutely wolfed them down. So I'm gonna try them again with some different fillings this time. I got some of these mini naan breads. We might use a couple with a curry one night, but also I make the homemade pizzas with those as well, because it's just really simple. I got a pack of spaghetti. This is a hearty food company. I've mentioned them before. Crazy, it's 20p for a pack of spaghetti. It's just so, so cheap for certain things. Can't really go wrong for 20p. This big bag of pasta, I ordered one half the size, a 500 gram one, and they have substituted it with this monster of a bag. So we're very grateful for that. A fab, I don't know if all the supermarkets are the same. I assume they are, but Tesco price match, whatever they need to change. So they've given us one twice the size for the same money, which is amazing. But that'll last us a nice bit of time. And then a pack of custard creams and bourbons, which we always get. I've got some coleslaw and that was to go with the sweet pulled pork in the flatbreads and also the corn on the cobs as well. I managed to get one of these butternut squash and sweet potato slices. And we actually make homemade soup, which I think I've shown in a video before. So we use a bag of this, a handful of potatoes just to thicken it up. And then we add whatever veg we've got in the fridge, mostly stuff that is going out of date, but it is still absolutely perfectly okay to make a soup with. And it's brilliant. We can just use up and it makes quite a lot of portions of soup really. It doesn't look much, but by the time you've bulked it out with everything else, you can get a good two or three days worth of soup for the family. And we just have it with some crusty bread. And then some broccoli. I've got some mature cheddar. I think I ordered medium and then they substituted us for this, but it's fine. 
we don't love strong cheese as a family generally in sandwiches and things but because most of the time that the kids have cheese really at the moment is melted to make cheese toasties like cheese on toast and also to make cheese sauces when we're cooking and actually mature cheddar obviously is a bit more flavor so it's not a bad thing to have that one a pack of apples a pack of blueberries and then a pack of watermelon fingers a pack of british strawberries and oh my goodness they're so tasty now now we're getting to may june time they're beginning to get really tasty a pack of small bananas and then i've got two packs of the baby cucumbers because we're just flying through those at the moment with everyone home a big pack of vine tomatoes these vary sometimes you get a few smaller ones but there's four gigantic vine tomatoes and i can smell them through the packaging so i think they're going to be really yummy a pack of three onions and then we've also got some baby plum tomatoes just to have with salads and things as well a pack of tea cakes just so we can toast those and have those sometimes and i've got some hula hoops some plain, some beef and some sun bites. These must have all been on offer because we tend to only buy crisps on offer. I think they were either a pound or 125 each. Over the back there, we've got a pack of the cheap small bottles of beer, which we always have. A pack of Diet Coke, semi-skimmed and two whole milks. The semi-skimmed is actually for my mum and dad's. I've removed all of the bits I've got for them and put them over on the side rather than show duplicates and things but I've left that one there by accident. And then a orange juice with bits, some yellow mustard, some Bisto gravy, a hand soap, some tomato ketchup, some sour cream, because I might do fajitas this week as well. And then we've got an anchor. And then over to Kids Corner here, we've got a pack of Milky Bars, two of the Squashums, a chocolate mousse, and then a pack of Jaffa Cakes, Double Decker and Whisper. I can't blame the kids for those. We're still in the awful habit of having a chocolate bar every night, so they're ours. Some winders, which the kids are just loving these. So we have to limit it to one every other day or so, but they really, really like these. They think they're sweets, but they're fruit and they're no nasty added extras. And then some pepper pig raisins, and that is everything. So the whole shop came to 120 pounds, but obviously that was for my mum and dad's amount of food as well in there. At a quick glance, I think we've spent around about 80 to 85 pounds. So it's one of our more expensive shops, but we have stocked up on meat, so. As I've said in the past, if we ever need to stock up on meat or alcohol or like household bits, like cleaning bits, then those weeks are always the more expensive weeks, but I kind of expected it to be around that this week, so that's fine. Thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. I'm also over on Instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog too, and on the lovely channel mom with the name mama hedgehog. Stay safe everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.